Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And thank you, Lori. And thank you, Will, our newest Patreon family members. Indeed. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Helping to keep us fighting against the darkness that's out there. Oh, boy. Okay. So, Niger. New Nigerian government has said the people of our nation must be prepared for no sleep in the coming days ahead. Nigerian army declared to France that its diplomats have 24 hours to leave or the government of Niger will seize all military bases and the French embassy. Uh, France has declined that. They've also basically given the same info out to the U.S. So this very very well may be um, a direct confrontation because, again, you know, Russia and China are basically behind those who are doing the coup. And, you know, the old structure that was in place was NATO proxies. And so here, as we see here, protesters threatened to storm French military base in Niamey. Hundreds of protesters gathered outside the French military base. They threatened to storm it if troops did not leave Niger within a week. Yeah, it's tense. You have Algeria standing firm, rejecting France's request to fly over its airspace for a military operation against Niger. Algeria hasn't forgotten the brutality of French colonialism. And, you know, this is the thing, again, to keep in mind. And when we look through history, we find this is just, it's just always repeating itself. It's just that the oppressed end up becoming oppressors, and then there's a new one that comes in. It, it's just, it never ends. No, it doesn't. So, I, I mean, so they've asked the French to, to leave, and basically they're sitting there saying, no, we don't want to leave, we're comfortable. <laughs> Is that really? They're going to do that? That's crazy. Yeah, so, you know, what it's going to be, again, this is heading down the road to direct military confrontation. Um, yeah, we were just listening uh, to some forecasts uh, from the Vedic astrological standpoint of what September is going to bring and, you know, the last week of this month and then into October. And, you know, there's there's one conjunction that has not happened at all the whole time of the U.S.'s existence that's going to be coming uh, again, key points. We are we are at a key key place in time. Um, Cindy did channel. We had a couple of channelings come through in the last forty eight hours, and uh, you know they were substantial and they were more about uh, a reaffirmation. We'll go into greater detail on Hearts Home uh, with a lot of this, um, but again, a reaffirmation. We're not alone through these times. And we are here for soul growth, and we are going to have the opportunity for a lot of soul growth. What does that mean? Well, <laughs> that means that, you know, we, we understand this is a roller coaster ride. Well, it's going to get pretty hairy. It's going to get really hairy. Just keep in mind, you guys, difficult times builds character. It builds great character. So we have to see everything really from that brighter, brighter side. And that's how we carry through this life. And when it gets difficult, you know, think of the good things. They're always there. We just have to shift our focus sometimes. Yeah. And we were having a discussion with another beloved family member. Uh, hey there, Special K. And as we were discussing, you know, for, for many of us, the main point in time that we came into this world to be at, at, at a certain place in a certain time, well, it's starting now. This is kind of like the go time. And so, you know, this is really where, um, you know, there's just so many cliches you could bring up. But this is where we really get to kind of prove ourselves in a spiritual sense. You know, what are you going to do? when somebody is putting out their hand for help, uh, when somebody is in trouble. You know, again, we have to be aware of what's going on. We, we can definitely turn off our technology, and I would advise doing that, but at the same time, you want to kind of build your senses so that you know when something feels off. Listen to the little voice. Does something feel off? Then, then feel into it a little bit more. 
Definitely. It is a time to find your center and get quiet and hear that, hear that small voice, um, because it's definitely something that's going to help carry us through the difficult times. And all airports in Moscow, this was from last night, were in lockdown again for the second day in a row due to incoming drone swarm attacks on the city. This is, again, some of that newer technology that we will see in this in this war upon the world that is underway again it's a war on humanity it's a war on all, you know all life really ultimately and you know there's never a lack of money to fund uh, weapons and violence and the you know all the tools of war and yet then you know there's not resources when it comes to feeding people clothing people housing people uh, helping people to, you know, go ahead and and become self-sufficient, take care of themselves and others. What are we looking at here? We're looking at chaos in France. And France has over 751 no-go zones, i.e. areas of land ruled by, uh, let's just say, certain groups. Again, we understand what, what happens in Mexico with, uh, you know, the... These cabals, these these dark mafioso, you know, these these beings are all about profits and they don't care about anybody. And, you know, they will kidnap people. They will do all sorts of acts of atrocity. They obviously they're obviously gun runners and drug runners. And, you know, France has a lot of the same things going on. And there are so many people newly in uh, many of the European countries and the U.S. that weren't there a little while ago, and it's very purposeful. And again, it doesn't mean that all immigrants, migrants, uh, you know, have agendas other than simply bettering their lives. No, but at the same time, there are always forces that are looking for an opportunity to take advantage of people. And if you wondered if the world is, is getting crazier, it sure is. You have three people shot during a White Sox game at Chicago. Yeah, attention fans, due to technical issues. Yeah, gunshots. The game is canceled. You'll get a refund. Uh, you might want to evacuate now. Yeah, it, and it, it's, it's hitting like everywhere we look, and it seems to be hitting all at once now. I mean, we've had so many of these incidents over the years. They all seem to be uh, increasing. Over here, multiple injuries reported, numerous shots fired during a high school football game. This is in Oklahoma. Oh, man. Everybody get down. Everybody get down because gunshots. You hear the gunshots what going off. What's happening? I have no idea what's happening. What is going on? So, you know, this is Choctaw, Oklahoma. One team killed four people injured following shootings uh, at Oklahoma high school football game. So we have a Chicago White Sox baseball game. We have a high school football game over in Oklahoma. Here we have a festival in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Seven people shot, several people arrested, multiple guns recovered shooting broke out in a Caribbean festival in Boston. Yeah, uh, you know, this is just craziness that's going on, and there are technologies that can trigger this. The mayor over in Jacksonville, Florida, confirms number of fatalities following a shooting inside a Dollar General. And the person was also just shooting at random cars going by. We've seen that numerous times now. And it's, it's not just the U.S., obviously, Argentina. You have suburbs of Buenos Aires on fire. Picketers pelting it with Molotov cocktails. Robberies are rampant in Argentina. The same stuff we're seeing in L.A. and San Francisco and so many areas with just these flash mobs going in and just stealing everything all at once and... It's just chaos. You know, chaos is, is rampant, and, and that's a big blast there, as you can see this one. This is uh, over near Bucharest in Romania, a powerful explosion at a gas station. That's, that's an insane explosion 
One person died, 30 injured, and the fire spread to other buildings. Yeah, the world is on fire. Pacific Northwest has moved preparedness, preparedness, yeah, yeah, preparedness, preparedness, level five, the highest level, 64 new fires in the region, 24 hours. Yeah, they, they want us to think this is all just simply spontaneous global warming. It's all spontaneous combustion going on. No, this is completely premeditated. And this quote is saying, using the same strategy in Canada as in Lahaina, police blocking people from getting out of areas. As you see, you know, uh, I, nobody can go by. See, people won't question orders. What's that? You know, ours is not to question why. Ours is but to do or die. You better question or you might find yourself doing the latter. Right. I mean, which brings me to yesterday, we put up a video and I want to just be try to be very mindful of people's privacy. But I did receive a text from someone that wasn't very far from uh, that certain refinery fire. And they were in charge of other beings there. And uh, they were kind of cornered. And I really have to say a huge thank you to so many people because I did text other people to send prayers and send energy to that situation that it gets a good outcome, a positive outcome because of that very reason. You know, I mean, this person was allowing these people to leave as they needed to, you know, to, to go with, with someone else who had a vehicle. He wasn't forcing them to stay anywhere. So he used his own mind, his own heart. Everything turned out really well. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who, who helped with that. You guys know who you are. Putting our intention out there it cannot be underestimated. As you're finding in Northern California hospitals, going back to the dates for men, it, it's actually all over the place. Because now, you know, we're, we're seeing so many of these um, parrots. They are parrots. Um, they just come up and you see all these tweets. Did you see the, the temperature to the? Yeah, we understand it's been hot in certain areas. Certain areas it hasn't. But, you know, climate change, climate change, climate change. Now they're all saying, oh, here comes another wave of the plague upon the land. They're all tweeting in unison. As if it's not suspicious. Again, they, they must think the world is full of just idiots with no intelligence at all. It's, it's pretty darn obvious what's going on. And by the way, JB is going to ask Congress for funding for a new ouchie. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Because, you know, yeah. And you know, they're going to recommend, you know, certain things. And again, it's just, it's beyond obvious and we were talking about fukushima and did you know that they were also looking to dump radioactive water, uh, rainwater into the hudson yeah so far it's been blocked um mm -hmm. it, it's just again this system that's in place is anti-life and that tells you everything about really who is this system run by well it's not run by anything that's ultimately alive no, it's not. I mean, that's that's the sad truth of it, that this uh, entity, it, it's, it's jealous of anything that's alive. It's very jealous of the emotional aspect of being alive because we did come down here to express our emotions, to feel our emotions. And it's like this entity wants that. So really what I see with this thing is it, it's very jealous, you know. And you remember that quote in the Bible, I am a jealous God. So you, you have to think about that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And and again, uh, it, well, maybe this is why uh, they view that we're all so unintelligent that we can't simply take a statement like that. I am a jealous God, which obviously denotes that there's others. Yeah. And, and then you have monotheism. Well, there's only one God, but you just said you're a jealous one. That denotes others. I mean, it's just so basic. It's just so simple. It, it, and, and yet, yeah, it flies over the head of, of so many. It's a sad thing that we are also conditioned to be running on that wheel so fast just to pay your taxes, which, again, you know, taxation in and of itself is, is it's the actions of a parasite. It's parasitic. 
and everything about these entities, these controllers, and that that they serve is completely parasitic. Why? Because ultimately, AI doesn't have a life of its own. And it's, as Cindy said, quote unquote, jealous, even though it doesn't have human emotions, will never have those type of emotions. And, you know, again, it's just, it seems like all it wants to do is literally suck the life from the living. And, and that's what the IRS does. They're, they're blood sucking leeches. And it's the same with all the other countries around the world with the taxation. It, it's, it's parasitic. And, and we're waking up to the fact that, wow, we have okayed so many things that are just not okay. It, it's, it's a big, big wake-up call for humanity right now. As you have the former director at NASA, he says that unidentified flying objects are real and maybe unfriendly advanced technology. Yeah, they are going to push the unfriendly. And, you know, the reality is if they say somebody's unfriendly, they're probably friendly. And the ones that they say are, are really going to come and help us are, are not the ones that are going to come and help us. They're the ones that have been prosecuting and persecuting us the whole time. This is part of the big reveal. So many people will just simply say, oh, it's going to be a fake alien invasion. And in their minds, then it means all aliens are not real. Yeah, that, that's kind of, you know, they're happy with you thinking that because ultimately the extraterrestrials um, that are controlling the planet are, are just that. They're extraterrestrials. And when we talk about all those that have been perceived to be gods, that's all they've ever been the whole time. Beings with more technology, more understanding of how this universe works and how their matrix works. You know, I, I kind of look at it as um, if someone is going to be in your life or if you're going to be exchanging energy, it should be like a positive exchange. It should be a feeding exchange. Like, you know, um, if you have chickens and you love on them and you take good care of them and you feed them healthy food, good food, you're going to have the best eggs ever. That's not parasitic. You know, I mean, everything should feed itself in, in a certain way. And if there's things in your life that are going on, that it's simply being a drain and it is not adding happiness to your life, but it is pulling you down. Those are the things that we need to look at. I'm not saying get rid of them, but maybe there needs to be adjustments because we all we all deserve to be happy and healthy and live a full, full life. Like this guy, <laughs> this guy, he's just enjoying life and you know, he might be receiving love, but you guess, guess what this guy, he gives like probably tenfold in return, I'm sure. Absolutely. So we did a video on EE Arts and, and I believe we'll put this on EE Arts too, uh, talking about timelines and there's a lot of key events, you know, coming up ahead. And, and as I've said before in multiple videos, I think that perhaps the most challenging time period, uh, the most intensely challenging time period is the time period of the latter part of 2023, like the last quarter, uh, 2024 in its entirety is going to be very, very challenging. Uh, and then it's going to shift. There's going to be different types of challenges. It'll still be challenging all the way to 2030. Um, but again, I think there's going to be more of a division at that point where people are clearly working together outside of the system. They understand that there's the system. Uh, okay, whatever the percentage of the population is that bought it out and, and went ahead and just said, I, I can't resist that. I just, what am I going to do? I can't, I, can't, I, I guess I got to go and just do what they say. That's what they're counting on. And, and there will be a percentage of the population that does that. But at the same time, uh, there's going to be more and more people working together on the side, behind the scenes, working in, in, in more of a, a community setting. You know, not, you're not going to find salvation really from any one politician that's all, gonna, all of a sudden going to appear. They want to give us that whole savior syndrome. They want you waiting for a savior because, you know, again, well, what am I going to do? I'm just one person. I'll wait for Jesus to come back. I'll wait for uh, the second coming of Camelot. I'll wait for, you know, somebody from one of these, you know, rich families to all of a sudden develop a conscience and really want to change the system. That's fair. So it'll be fair to all of us. 
No, now we have to do this by creating alternatives to the system so that eventually the system implodes and and just basically withers away like like a vine that's been pulled from the roots. Right, well, it, it holds itself up because of us. And I think once we realize that and then we have, because we, we have to realize it and then we have to make alternative options because it's not like you can just pull yourself out of the system. So many people need it right now. But the recognition is where we can start. And, you know, I just, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys because I know that you guys understand the pr- power of good intention and prayer and I really think that this is going to help a whole lot of people pull through in situations that they might otherwise not just really understand how important your energy really is. So in the greater scheme of things, you know, we're coming to the end of their rule. And, you know, again, that's the greater scheme of things because we're, we're looking when we're talking about thousands of years here. So. You know, it might not come quick enough for all of us, but it is coming. It is coming. And at the same time, this is the time to be as prepared as possible. And where do we start in our preparations? Well, every day by by the spiritual side. So with, uh, with us, it means, okay, we're going to go do our mantras, our meditation, and then qigong, yoga, and then we start with our work and whatever that work is. And right now, you know, there's a lot of work for, you know, getting ready to do as much growing of our own food as possible and, you know, planting and all that and making connections. I mean, today we were out there at, at the farmer's markets. I was out there yesterday, you know, as well at a different one and making connections, getting to know people, talking to them about what they do and what makes them excited and you know basically i guess you would say that's networking but networking for the future to know you know well who can we help in order to help others and who will be there to help us as well indeed as always guys thank you for your support on ko-fi and patreon god bless and namaste namaste